then you can go to the next task called maintain healthcare coverage types sorry coverage targets maintain healthcare coverage targets so here also people has been configured we can reuse it but i will give an example how to configure we will select one adder display adder whom you want to display first if it is only employee you will select employee own okay minimum dependent count zero since only employee enrolling minimum count is zero maximum count is zero okay no dependents are allowed next row employee plus box so you are allowing minimum as one dependent only maximum is one dependent three employee plus spouse plus children okay in this scenario of course here you have to assign dependent spouse and here you have to map spouse children child the here is the one of the funny uh, thing i would like to highlight how many children you will allow to cover this coverage target some companies they will give only first two children some companies they will give three children some companies if this is unlimited if the employee has 10 children 10 children can be covered then give maximum number here something like 99 okay in this case minimum dependent is one maximum dependent is three spouse plus two children any questions sir on this screen no and then we do have this is requires enrollment which means when you select this is mandatory you have to include spouse and child okay it's mandatory you cannot skip this at all if you unselect it, it means employee can take the call whether they uh, whether they want to whether he wants to include his spouse or children or not. And similarly, health savings coverage target during our spending account. I will explain this one. Okay, for now ignore. First, let's fix to only healthcare coverage targets. Okay, employee, employee plus spouse, employee plus spouse plus children. Number of dependents are allowed is these details. Select okay. This is also done next task since you're allowing employee plus spouse plus children right you require to get a dependent eligibility rule okay dependent eligibility rule we have to create employee by default get benefit group uh, employees USS salary by default he will get the eligibility rule here but spouse and children we have to create an additional eligibility rule let's see how access the task create benefit eligibility rule here it select dependent dependent benefit eligibility okay so name it amd spouse plus children Here you can search for relationship. In the selection list. Pause children okay simple eligible to here few people will ask question let's say i want to restrict only two children no no i mean employee should not enroll the third children we don't have control here we have control only on the number of dependents are allowed just now we access the task right there only we can depend 
save this record once you give the this eligibility rule now the regular steps no no we can we have an option so the relationships how we have configured in the task you remember those yeah. will be available sir for example if it is a let's say there's a benefit plan which is allowed only girl child okay dot mm -hmm. that case ignore this one Mm, just a second. Dependent. This is a little strange for me why the data is not available. This is strange for me, sir, because this is a work day delivered one. Not sure why it is not bringing. I don't think daughter would be uh, an option. It would be either child, children, spouse. No, 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 I'm giving just an example. If still assume there are there is a benefit plan which is mm -hmm. eligible only by girl child, we can still achieve that with the help of this field dependent. I see what you're saying. Okay. Okay. To okay, let me do one thing, sir. To give it one clarity. Whenever the employee add in the dependents, all their view dependents on the top uh -huh. actually we want to add dependents but yep so you can add there right so when we are adding the dependent here right here we lost the gender okay and then the relationship type so normally sometimes we'll get child girl child son daughter something also from the from here the data is coming sir when you said dependent there in the eligibility these fields should populate I see. yeah until, yeah i know okay. in us daughter would not be it would just be male female for the gender and then relationship child or yeah yeah, yeah. i agree that's why only we have a child concept here yeah. yeah okay let's uh okay let me go back to the Eligibility rule. So, any questions, sir, on this eligibility? No, this is good. Okay. Right. Eligibility rule addition we get. So far, the plans what we configure is directly coverage type and benefit plan. These are slightly slight different. Healthcare insurance are slight different. Yeah. Health, yeah. We need relationship types. We need healthcare coverage types. Okay, like these values, then we need dependent eligibility additionally. Okay, now let's proceed to create the next task maintain benefit coverage type, healthcare savings, select the arrow button. I would like to display this as the first plan name AMD, uh, let's say medical. So these are the classifications applicable only for USA. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, to be honest, I'm also new, but I will check and come back to you. So I created, but why I created in my previous project, <laughs> not sure. 
the straightforward task maintain healthcare uh, classifications i'll check and come back to on this okay for now please hold vision dental uh, these are i know but there is meaning for dmo hmo ppo so i will explain since is a healthcare i will select heart this is common only one election if you have if you are creating multiple cover multiple benefit plans under one coverage then you have to select one election if applicable since we are creating only one plan for one coverage not applicable would you like to mandate this uh, election mandatory employee has to choose then select this checkbox these are quite employee display employee cost employer cost and then flex credits can be applied so as i said an employee can earn some credits from the employer or the vendors okay or from the vendors in this case if you employ any earnings from credits his contribution will be little less so would you like to assign the credits what are the employee has earned it's something like points from points if you not uh, claimed any health insurance in here you will get some points so would you like to allow medical as part of healthcare yes that is our primary one selected use coverage from plan year end date would you like to assign this plan from next year onwards 2023 onwards as part of your open enrollment select this check box i am selecting cobra because employees are eligible for healthcare under cobra uh, if an unforeseen uh, unforeseen uh, issues something like employee lost the job employee uh, has met some accident and dependent should need some healthcare coverage so i will talk in one of our scenario by terminating an employee strike for any questions around this coverage uh, no this is pretty straightforward right and this is quite common for all our six coverages let's save it the next important one benefit plan metlife plan type health care here you have is it do you want it's a flat rate or calculated rate we will talk about both but now let's say flat rate calculated rate is nothing but you are calculating the value from the employees compensations okay flat rate okay coverage type we already created amd medical select classifications as i said uh, uh, vision dental etc ignore this one i will explain plan name i am not giving because i want to display amd okay where is that metlife amd if you want to give some name you can give okay plan description you can provide something like if you want to give a link further if you, if the for employees to understand more information about this plan when it is available who will assign the plan if anyone have any concerns or issues whom they should reach you can maintain the copy and paste the link the website address external link group policy number if applicable participating group salary employees worker plan eligibility we are not giving any additional one okay so dependent plan eligibility we have created because worker plan eligibility means out of usa and salaried employee do you want to get any other criteria working employees in chicago only eligible for this plan working employees only in denver eligible for this plan only full time employees are eligible for this plan only in particular supervisor organization or management employees are eligible for this plan we can create this we will talk dependent plan eligibility we already created so select this one 
over is dependent policy dependent eligibility means if any plan is company offering parents also eligible for the plan there are there is some age limit okay if you see healthcare also whenever we are taking insurances etc if it is beyond some age 60 or 65 they don't give the plan at all but there are some exceptional cases okay if the employee is eligible or parents are eligible employees parents are eligible so then you can create the additional dependent eligibility rule okay we'll create one scenario just okay requires provider id when you enable the check box whenever the employee is enrolling into the plan workday will prompt for entire provider id tax identification number of the metlife if you select this plan this check box plan automatically enroll to the employee it won't give any option to an employee to choose once ben partner initiated automatically enroll employee has to accept this plan it is a highly direct plan so you can flag it it's just a flag okay the deduction amount is more than what is prescribed just flag it it's just for reporting purpose hsc sorry not hsc high deductible plan derive coverage targets yes we already configured keep it it and we are not maintaining this individual rates in external system we are maintaining the rates within workday so please ignore this value this is required only if you are maintaining an external uh, we are maintaining amounts in some external system and bringing the amount details and plan details to workday if you are creating the plan and maintain the amounts in workday please ignore individual rates not applicable currency usd frequency monthly earnings and deductions we already discussed sir if you are creating an earning for in house extra we can map it aca so the, as i mentioned <laughs> affordable care act is nothing but for hourly wage employees if they will meet some uh, number of hours in a week number of hours in a month so we have a calculation method okay fully funded or self insured so we will select this one i will explain in a separate topic since i am also learner on this so you ignore this affordable care act uh, minimum wages now here if you see when i create the health care all the options are uh, what do you call defaulted select your benefit group and our requirement is employee only employee plus child i don't want this domestic partner okay, spouse is there right employee plus spouse plus children okay the remaining values please remove it i don't want this remove this value employee plus child is okay employee plus spouse is okay remove these values keep this one we need this one we created in real time you don't have these many normal will create employee employee plus plus employee plus children employee plus spouse plus children employee plus spouse plus children plus parents or simply employee plus family so since is a practice and people has created multiple values so those are default okay now employee only employee plus child which means the employee not uh, some events like separation events or may one of the spouse is not available or died okay in that case only employee plus child right employee plus spouse they don't have any children yet employee plus spouse plus children a good family <laughs> so there are the options sir okay now see the rates healthcare right let's say it's a pre pre tax if employee is only enrolling 10 dollars per month if employee plus child uh, uh, enrolling 50 dollars employee plus spouse uh, two people let's say 20 dollars employee plus spouse plus children 30 dollars per month and similarly employee employer also will contribute a flat amount of 
non taxable owner will give his customer has to tell it is a pre tax post tax flat he will he, he will give for $15 15 right sir so this one starts we're going to create the event and instructions enrollment events create benefit event name is md medical offering is md medical worker selectable 30 days from the effective date so strict usa straight forward okay now enrollment event rules add the row this we already configured so directly in configuring medical no waiting period on coverage begin date on the event date on coverage direction begin date strike similar again coverage rules defaulting some typo i will correct it can select any plan what are the dependent changes are allowed so i am selecting additional dependents allowed it will ask you who are all allowed what does it mean is if you are assigned in this plan or if your employee promoted transferred it will impact the uh, employee benefits also when are the stopping events promotion transfer relocation even hire will occur would you want to allow the employee to choose more dependents to add or remove the existing dependents that the option we have the child he can add spouse he can add and then defaulting rules standard default current elections priority coverage update yeah edit so you did the start wave waste the medical coverage that you just configured here apply the filter here okay let me start okay select the filter So the enrollment event type, can that be a medical? I thought the enrollment event type would be, you know, uh, you gain, lose coverage, uh, marriage. Isn't that considered more of the enrollment event type? Should... I agree. Here. I agree, I agree. By, I mean, in, I get in generic format. If you want to give a reason, could be MD, like when the, when they can add let's say okay let's go with marriage or uh, what you call birth or adoption okay so that also works up yeah we'll give marriage okay automatically it'll update it no problem good one any other questions uh no okay the next step is edit benefit we have to group our plan or else plan won't be available to us same. Okay, since Logan McNair is our testing employee, we'll test for her. Expectations, whenever you, she must be able to select this event. Yeah, marriage. And 30 days should be defaulted. 
let's say i will select from 10th it's easy to understand next 11th so 30 days of defaulting he she has to accept these plans medical plan is available submit when you open it only this medical should be available no other plans you should allow the employee to choose select and then uh, confirm and continue now she has to pick up who who can she want to enroll she wants to enroll the child one child select provider id you remember we enabled provider as required yeah. on the bill now it is asking us okay and uh, dependent social security number random will give some value that will cover during business process because uh, approval okay. uh, whenever the employee choosing this one we will create an event documentation is required i will create a validation so it will allow the employee to attach a document then only they're able to submit okay that will cover during our bp business process class okay, okay. approvals reviews resigns etc so now i will give some random number okay review and sign in this is also a hard to i will explain how to do that that should be child employees plus child total fifteen dollars defaulted from the paycheck i mean the from the plan any questions sir on no, plan no. Con no okay fine i also would like to cover enrollment uh, instructions electronic signature that i will so what i will do now i will remove the plan from the employee okay and i would like to show how i will assign the plan to the worker in fact not required i can set some other employee but uh, eligibility rule showing only three employees right so yes. that's only where is our benefit change so let's go to worker history marriage this is strange uh if you go back to his i think you'd be able to see the history uh related actions to his profile of course there also we have an option but let me see if there is still up here. yeah yeah any action item is pending from her some when partner needs to be approved or something like that. But it's still visible at worker level, right? It should. Let me yes, take a Okay. Now I'm going to resign this. Testing. Submit. Okay. Now. I want to let the business, let the user know what is this plan, who are all can enroll into the plan, when is this plan is available, some kind of instructions. Okay, let's see how to configure that. Access the task, maintain enrollment instructions. Select general one. Don't select tobacco. That's a different okay <clears throat> so our plan falls under healthcare elections so select on this add the row benefit groups 
so benefit group is the event is our amd marriage cover estate is our amd medical so here i can give some text okay or something like hmm I can apply some colors, etc. Uh, so I can also link provide link here. Whatever link will be there. So I can ask the employees whenever they see if you want more information, select on the link. It will take you to the benefit plan page. You can see more information. Okay. And also, if you want to play around, um, want to make it bold, or if you want to apply some colors, you can see points. So play around this one, sir, when I have some time. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can apply these colors are allowed. Done. What does it mean? Whenever, if any employee selecting this event, and this cover is tied. this enroll instruction they can see and they will know why they're eligible and uh, some instructions we can give to the worker you got it right yes this is for each plan let's say there is a common text for all healthcare coverage targets common text you have 10 healthcare plans across globally all 10 plans have same common text you can just paste it here no need to configure this any questions on this? Uh, no. Okay. Proceed this. Let's complete that electronic signature as well. I think it's created elect maintain benefit electronic signatures. This is the tester. Add it. Name it. I'm just giving some random ones, okay? Just yeah. instruction. Mm. 
Okay, restrict to USA, only USA, and restrict to all our benefit group. Okay, further, if you want to give a link for more information, or if you want to apply some colors, you can see that. Okay, yeah, so default won't be applicable, sir because we are restricting here if you're not going with this default you can enable it which means everyone can see these instructions okay okay now let's go ahead and see our enrollment instructions electronic signature is coming or not Instructions? Yeah, I see it. This is a different one, work day value. Now when I save it, next step, here our uh, electronic signature should come. No, it's not. No, 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 I missed another setup. My, sorry, just let me check it again. Save for later, let me cancel. Mm-hmm. for the background noise. No, no problem. Okay, go to the main thing, benefit. Sorry, sir. Edit benefit provider. Can go to a provider AMD Medical. Sorry, it's MetLife, right? Uh, I think there was a box you had to check for the targeting signature, right? Right there. Exactly. So give it a try. Then open. Let's get start. Enroll. Select. Config. Children, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Provider ID, save. Review and sign in. Ah, uh, there it is. Confirm. We have to confirm or else we will give a message. 
so accept submit that's it okay